Hello everybody, today we're going to look at Smart Start Beginning Coding Grade 1. This includes stickers and audio of stories read aloud. It is correlated to current standards, if that matters to you. If it doesn't, you can ignore that part. And it includes critical thinking, computational thinking, and basic skills. So let's take a look inside this Evan Moore book and see what we get. All right, so the lessons go algorithms, decomposition, patterns, debugging, loops, conditionals, review, hands-on projects, a certificate, and a coding handbook with an answer key in the back. So here we have an introduction to this book and to coding. We've got the computer science building blocks. We've got how to use this book. There are story, coding stories and comprehension activities and each coding story focuses on one concept. You may wish to listen to the audio story with your child or read the story aloud to your child. Have your child look at the pictures as he or she listens. After you finish the story, have your child retell you the story and point to the pictures to relate them to what he or she is saying. Then there is concept pages. The concept pages connect coding concepts to real world situations. You may wish to listen to the audio with your child or read the concept pages aloud to your child. Have your child look at the pictures as he or she listens. Use the information in the talk with your child box at the bottom of the, of the page to relate the concept to your child's life. Then we've got the practice activities and then the review and coding projects. And of course, a illustrated coding handbook in the back of this book. And you can remove that as well. So here on algorithms, it says, look at the pictures. We can go to track one. We can listen to the story about a child who follows steps. Now, lots of first graders will be able to read this on their own. So that's another thing you could do too, is have them use it as reading practice. So you can really read it to them, have them read it or listen to the audio or all three. Then we have a look at the pictures, steps one, two, three, and four that you're gonna write the steps and then draw a picture of your favorite pet. We've got the order of steps. So again, they're gonna listen or read or you can read to them. And then we have the talk with your child box down here. So let me read this one to give you an example of what the talk with your child box looks like. It says, look at the pictures in the first row and the second row with your child. Talk about which step is out of sequence and what went wrong. Then have your child think about things he or she does every day in which he or she follows steps. For example, taking a bath or feeding a pet. Go over each step and talk about the importance of following the steps in the correct order. Explain to your child that people give computers a list of steps to do things to. And we have a matching activity here. So these are just all about steps. So as you can see, this is very basic for first graders. Then we have an activity where they're going to be cutting and pasting. I'm going to draw a pet and then after they have this picture, they're going to circle which pet that this is. Now we're into decomposition. Patterns. Tying in math, obviously. Those patterns are a mathematical concept and I love kind of how Evan Moore always has the cross-curricular embedded into all of their workbooks. They do a really great job with that. Debugging. So as you can see, there's lots of cutting and gluing. There's, there's lots of doing in this book. Loops. Conditionals. Coding projects. Now, isn't this fun? So their coding projects are, are an origami pet, a decomposition puzzle, a team flag, 
code a dance. It would be great to laminate these pages too so they can be used over and over and over. Then their little certificate and the coding handbook. And then the answer key. And last but not least, the favorite of many stickers. <laughs> All right, so I hope that was helpful to you. And let me show you. And the book right here is where you get the audio access for the, oh, right, that was China, right here. The audio access for all those stories. You just scan that. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you love all things homeschool.